Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Hope you're all doing great. I just asked you guys what topics I should talk about and I got multiple people asking the same thing and it was on the topic of divorce with children. So of course things are always much more complicated and difficult when there are children involved. Firstly because they're not as open about their feelings and they don't know how to communicate even if they want to be open about their feelings. So this is kind of on the topic of how can you move forward with a divorce in the best way possible for your children. The first on my list is to, first of all, take away the shame from divorce and make sure that your kids are aware of the fact that even though they might not know anybody that is currently getting a divorce, there are plenty of people who have been divorced and there are plenty of people that are currently going to divorce. This will kind of make it seem a little bit more normal and take the shame away from it. Secondly, a lot of parents always think that maybe it's better if they stay under the same roof and be together because of the sake of their children. I am here to tell you that research suggests otherwise. These words are not coming from me, but from the experience and the research of many, many psychologists in the past and in the present. And research suggests that children usually develop a lot of anxiety and stress if they are under the same roof as a set of parents who are continuously arguing and fighting. This causes a lot of stress. It's definitely better for each kid to have a healthy environment to live in with one parent at a time. So throw that idea out of your head that it's better to stay together but constantly argue for the sake of the kids. Next on my list is if you are going to get a divorce, and you are a family with children, it is highly recommended that both parents sit down and deliver the news together as a family to your children because this is a couples related situation. It's not an individual related situation. So I really recommend that you guys bring the kids or your child together and have a conversation and each parent should take turns and they should each kind of give their take on the situation but the take needs to be positive. So what I recommend is having an open conversation and really being straightforward, but in a way that doesn't hurt your child. What I mean by that is to remember that your child loves both of you and they don't want to hear anything negative from one parent or the other. So the best thing you could do is be honest about the divorce, but be kind towards the other parent. And remember that your child is going to keep this parent for the rest of their life, they can't divorce their parents. So they can't be in the same boat as we are as adults and as couples. We can't just get rid of our parents. So keep that in mind, have an open conversation, go over the reasons. And one of the reasons that I always say is a great one to discuss is this is becoming a very unhealthy environment because there's a lot of arguing and the house is being filled with stressful situations. And the best way to go about this is that we each go separately in our own ways so that the house will be a much more healthier environment. Next on my list is place of living. This is also a very important topic for your children. It's so important for them to know where they're gonna be living, what days of the week, what their living arrangement is gonna be like, because things are already inconsistent in their life with this big change. So you wanna keep everything else as consistent as possible, which means pick out the place with your child if they're old enough. If they're not old enough, do things that will make them feel like they have a say in this next move. So which room do you wanna choose? Or which bed do you wanna choose? And which stuffed animal do you wanna have with me? And which stuffed animal do you wanna have with your other set of parents? So these little things can make a big impact. When going forward with living in separate homes, it's so important for them to see that you are having a friendly conversation with the other parent when they are being dropped off or picked up. Try to keep the fighting minimal because it's so important for them to see that 
okay, so I don't have that goodness, which means my parents are not together, but at least I don't have the badness, which is the arguing, which is the stressful home, which is the chaos. And so that's really beautiful for them to see, okay, each parent is calm, each parent is happy. I'm living in two different homes, but I'm happy in each and there's peace at both. So you want to show them that there is goodness coming out of this. And last but not least is to make sure that you're continuously talking to them and asking them how they're doing. A lot of times kids recognize that as parents, we're already not doing well and they are very smart. They understand their parents are going through something when they're going through a divorce. So they will really keep their feelings to themselves and they will shut down. So it's up to you as a parent to keep asking them, hey, what's going on? How are we feeling today? And to also normalize that you're not feeling that great either and that you're sad too. It's really important for them to see that these feelings are part of the normal feelings that go along with divorce. So sharing your feelings and empathizing with them can help them understand and feel that this is something normal that they're going through. So check in and ask them how they're doing and share your feelings with them. And I just want to add too that as you're going through this process, you're obviously going to get angry, you're obviously going to get sad, you're going to have bad nights. Just make sure that you have someone to talk to. If you have someone to talk to, it could be a professional that's even better if you have a therapist, if not a trusted source. If you have someone to talk to, then you'll kind of have an outlet and you'll be more present with your children. So that's really something that I recommend. I'm sending you all my love because I know it can be really difficult. I deal with a lot of couples that are going through divorce and it's really hard but when kids are involved it's so much harder so you have all of my empathy and love and I wish you guys the best in this next phase of your life and I hope that the outcome will be two homes filled with peace and a better life ahead thank you so much I will see you guys next Tuesday appreciate it